we have two functions, two graphs. I want to find the equation of a tangent line to the given function at the given x value. So the first function is f of x equals to x to the third power minus 7, and then x is equals to 2. So x to the third minus 7 is a curve. I want you to tell me when x is equals to 2, what is the slope? So we will go by the limit definition of the derivative. First of all, let's find the location of the point. So when x is equals to 2, we have 2 to the third minus 7, which is 8 minus 7, that equals to 1. So we have a point when x is equals to 2, y is equals to 1. What is the slope at this point? Using limit definition of derivative. So that means I am looking for f prime at x is equals to 2. f prime at x equals to 2. That is the slope of the curve when x is equals to 2. So we have limit as x goes to 0, and then this is f of a plus h, which is uh, 2 plus h, minus f of 2, and then divided by h. So this is a, a, right? So this is a plus h minus f of a. And then you plug in. So we have limit as h goes to 0, and then we have 2 plus h to the third power, right? Minus 7. Okay, and then how about f of 2? f of 2 is just equals to 1. I want you to maintain a, a good habit. So how about this? We will do the substitution right over here. So we will do everything in the square bracket, 2 to the third minus 7. So this is f of a. So this is f of a. All right, and then we will just divide the whole thing by h. Don't forget the square bracket because uh, if you don't... For, if you miss the square bracket, uh, you might mess up the plus and the minus sign. The next thing that we will have to do is we will have to open up a third power. So if you have your own way to open up the third, a third power, fourth power, fifth power, sixth power, use your own way. But I always teach my students to use Pascal triangle. So let's go over the Pascal triangle. So Pascal triangle. So the Pascal triangle, at the top of the triangle, we have a 1, and then the next line is 1, 1, and then for each line following that, we start with a 1, and then the next number is 1 plus 1 equals to 2, and then we end with a 1. And then the next line, we start with a 1, 1 plus 2, 2 plus 1, and then we finish with a 1. The next line, we start at 1, 1 plus 3, 3 plus 3, 3 plus 1, and then we end with a 1. The next line, 1, 1 plus 4, 4 plus 6, 6 plus 4, 4 plus 1, and then we end with a 1. And then this can go, keep going forever. And then the first, the top of the triangle, we don't use that. And then we stop counting this as the first line. And then the second line, the third line, the fourth line, and the fifth line. So what does the second, the third, and the fourth corresponds to? That corresponds to the power outside of the parentheses. So since we are opening up a third power, and then we will just use the 1, 3, 3, 1 that is designed for the third power. How do we use that? We bring the coefficients down, and then what that is 1, 3, 3, 1. So 1, 3, 3, 1. So since this is a plus 2 plus h, the sign is all plus. And then we have a 2 and an h, right? So 2 goes first. And then what is the third power mean? The third power means you have 2 to the third, 2 to the second, 2 to the first, and then 2 to the zero power, which is just a 1. And then for the h, we have h to the third, h square, h the first, and then h to the zero power, which is just a 1. So uh, what, what about if you have a 2 minus h to the third power. If you have a 2 minus h, I, I think I should do, do this in a different color to give you a better contrast. If you have a 2 minus h to the third power, then the sign alternates. That becomes a plus, minus, a plus, and a minus. 1, 3, 3, 1. And then the rest follows, right? If you have a minus h. But in the limit definition of derivative, you always go by a plus h, so you would need to take care of the h only. All right, so let's put everything down. So we have limit, always start with a limit, and then 
an unequal x goes to zero so after we fully open up the top then we have an eight right eight and then plus three times two square so which is a four x and then plus three times two to the first power and then x square plus x to the third and then the rest we have a minus seven and then we have a minus eight divided by x are we able to do some cancellation the answer is always yes so you have uh what do you have oh not not, not eight one one do you see why i this is a problem because the coefficient and the coefficient the constant terms has to be gone you have an eight and then a minus seven is and a minus one if that is a minus a then the pr whole problem is messed up because without getting rid of the constant term you cannot factor out one x right so the rest of the term each term has an x attached to it if you fail to get rid of the constant term then the whole problem is wrong all right so let's uh factor out one x and then take care of the coefficients as well so we have limit as x goes to zero we take one x out to get rid of the x in the denominator and then we have a 12 what else and then a 6 x and then a x square right and then you get rid of the x and then once x goes to zero all the x are zero so you only have a 12 left so what is this 12 what is this this has a name this is called the slope of the tangent line so slope of the tangent line and then what to the function at x equals to 2 so this function is a curve when x is equals to 2 the slope of the curve is equals to 12 the next step that i would like you to do is tell me the equation of the tangent line so you have a slope equals to 12 and then you have a point for the function evaluation the point is when x is equals to 2 y is equals to 1 all right and then you have to use the point slope form point slope form y minus y1 equals to slope times x minus x1 i don't mind to write down the name for you is this is called point slope form so we have y minus 1 equals to slope times x minus 2 and then we have y minus 1 equals to 12x minus 24 right minus 24 you add 1 to it then that is minus 23 so y e equals to 12x 12 12x 12 minus 23 this is equation of the tangent line the point slope form is that so this is called equation of the tangent line to whatever the function is at x equals to 2 right let's draw a picture so the uh, this one is a uh, third power and then shift seven units down so the picture looks like this this is a uh, without the minus one you have this right you have a uh, a point at zero zero the minus seven shift seven units down so now it looks like that and then when x is equals to two you have a two comma one so right over here when x is equals to two here is the tangent line so here is the tangent line this, this should make the line straight for me yep you have a tangent line y equals to 12x minus 23 and then uh, this is x to the third minus 7. so at this point the slope is equals to 12. the slope is positive so that's why the line is going uphill all right this problem is finished and then the next one we have a reciprocal right so we have a reciprocal the reciprocal is f of x equals to 1 over x square and then x is equals to negative 3 what is the slope first you plug in a negative 3 so plug in a negative 3 1 divided by negative 3 square that is 1 over 9 so expect to deal with some uh, common denominator thing so we have a point at negative 3 1 over 9 and then we follow the limit definition f prime at x equals to negative 3 that is limit as x goes to 0 and then you have the x plus h which is negative 3 plus h 
and then minus f of negative 3 and then you divide that by h okay plug in we have h goes to 0 so this is 1 divided by negative 3 plus h square minus uh, you plug it in you have a 1 1 over 9 right so you have a 1 over 9 and then you have a 1 over 9 so you have a 1 over 9 and then divided by h and then uh, for this complex fraction thing I always take the h out like that and then I um, work with the common denominator so the common denominator is uh, you have the you have the square right so this one we have a negative 3 plus h square right so that is a 9 right minus 6 h plus h square so we have a 9 minus 6 h plus h square and then multiply the, the, the 9 should I break this down I you know what I will just not I will just not skip a line so I will just do, do this minus 1 over 9 much easier to follow and then you have limit as h goes to 0 1 over h and then you get a common denominator so the common denominator I have 9 and then multiply the parentheses and then the top I have a 9 minus the, the other denominator minus 6 h plus h square and then clean up the top so you have a 9 minus 9 all right and then plus 6 h minus h how about this we factor a h out okay not not skip a line right so 6 h minus h square and then divided by 9 9 minus 6 h plus h square totally forgot the 1 over h and then you take 1 h out so we have limit h goes to 0 bring 1 h out so that is h 6 minus h divided by the same denominator okay cancellation finally we did all the work to get rid of our biggest enemy the h in the bottom and then once you plug in the h all the h becomes a 0 then you have a 6 divided by a 9 minus 9 right 6 divided by 9 minus 9 which is 81 and then uh, they would like you to the, when you do works online they would like you to reduce all the way to the end divide the top and bottom by 3 so you have a 27 so this is the slope of the tangent line to whatever the function is at x equals to negative 3 x equals to negative 3 so now we got a slope so the slope is 3 over 27 and then the point at the very beginning we have a point at negative 3 when x is equals to that y is equals to that and then you use the point slope form y minus y1 equals to slope times x minus x1 point slope form you review that in pre-calculus y minus 1 over 9 equals to slope and then x minus negative 3 so you have minus 1 over 9 3 3 over 27 2 over 27 right i keep i keep right writing 3 huh 2 over 27 2 over 27 2 over 27 because 3 over 27 can be reduced x and then uh plus six so the six and the 27 so that will be divide top and bottom by three right so sorry uh the two times positive three so that will be a uh, plus 27 divided by three is nine and then this is a two you add a 9 to it then that becomes a 3 plus 9 so y equals to 2 over 27 x 2 plus 1 is 3 so that is a 3 over 9 or, or 1 third okay and then this is equation of the tangent line uh, when you do works on paper 
uh, they usually they don't ask you to stay what it is but I always require my student to write down the name because this answer has a name I don't want you to just know okay I know how to do this but I don't know what the answer represents write this down make sure you know what the answer represents equation of the tangent line to whatever the function is at x equals to negative 3 and then let's take a look at the graph representation so he, here is the x-axis so we have a x-axis and then we have a y-axis so 1 over x squared right 1 over x squared has a vertical asymptote at x equals to 0 so 1 over x squared the denominator is always positive that means for this reciprocal function both curve they are above the x-axis so they are above the x-axis this is x and then this is y when x is equals to negative 3 so negative 3 we have a point right over here and then here is the tangent line the tangent line goes like that and that is slope equals to 2 over 27 and then that what is this straight line represent this straight line represent right right over here this is the tangent line right over there that's what the straight line represents 2 over 27 x plus 3 over 9 that the slope is 2 over 27 that means at x is equal, when x is equals to negative 3 the slope of the curve is equals to 2 over 27 because the tangent line is touching the curve so that means they both have the same slope at that point all right at that point only all right, so that is the end of this video. If you think this is helpful, give me a like, share, and subscribe, and I will catch you all in the next one. Signing out.